Welcome to the SpreadX Weekly Financial Market Preview, Tuesday the 12th of June 2018, and we're looking at the macro picture and cable. Yeah, it's a really, really busy week for cable already this week. We've had the manufacturing uh, figures on Monday, which weren't very good, sort of sapped whatever very limited momentum cable has uh, sat that away. I think on Tuesday we've already had as well disappointing wage growth figures. I think that come in at 2.5% against the 2.6% seen last month. Cable sort of took that in its stride. But I think that's broadly because it can't really go much lower than it is at the moment. Uh, rest of the week you've got UK inflation on Wednesday. I think that's expected to remain unchanged at 2.4%, which, which means wage growth is still ahead now of inflation, which I guess is a boost for is a good boost for cable because that was one of the concerns of the Bank of England. Then Thursday, you've got retail sales figures from the UK. Unsurprisingly, they're not meant to be great. I think they were expected to fall from 1.6% to 0.5% month on month. And then the biggie on Wednesday evening is the Federal Reserve meeting. That's uh, the Fed's expected to hike rates again this year. Uh, I think the issue with that will be is a is fairly expected, so um, it might have a limited impact on the markets. And B, like I was saying. What cable at the moment is around one three four. Before when it was at its sort of uh, recent lows, it was at one three two. So there's not a lot of room for it mm. to move really. If it unless it is going to go back below that support level it hit uh, last month, um, so that means that the, the Fed meeting on Wednesday might have a limited impact. However, there is still then room for cable to move a bit though, and I think that's what our clients are looking at the pound doing this week. They've been selling as it's crept towards the 134 mark. I think there's just a lot of obstacles in the way of the pound regaining any momentum this uh, this week. And already it's sort of falling at the first two hurdles mm. it, it's had on Monday and Tuesday. So still negativity with the client. Yeah, yeah. There's, and also you've also got the, the macroeconomic picture as well with the US and North Korea situation, the US and the rest of the G7 situation, the, the Brexit vote in the House of Commons this week as well. There's just arguably too much stuff to get in the way of the pound uh, being able to build on the sort of very weak sense of momentum it had been building last week and I think that's why our clients are selling fairly strongly at uh, $1.34. Okay, thanks Connor.